Robert? <laughs> I'll introduce myself. Do you want to? Of course. We don't know that much about you. Right. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Um, my name is Robert Gramilano. I was born and raised in Italy. Um, I get bored very easily, so I like to do several things. I am a college professor. I like to teach. I like to teach both uh, graduate and undergraduate college courses. I teach at Illinois Institute of Art and I also teach at Argosy University, the former Illinois School of Professional Psychology. I teach leadership classes, I teach organizational theory classes, but the ones that I enjoy the most are the career development courses because I am a life and career coach. I'm certified in emotional intelligence, neurolinguistic programming, and I am also a shamanic healer. Um, I have been studying for the past six years with a Native American Cherokee shaman and the ways and the old ways for uh, healing and uh, spiritual practices. So what do I do? I take all of that, I put it together, and uh, I use it to help my students and to help my clients and uh, heal. So I want to tell you a little bit about emotional intelligence. I usually have a 45 minutes to one hour speech. I go through, uh, Daniel mm -hmm. Goldman is the creator of emotional intelligence, or at least the one that made it famous, and uh, um, divide um, the concept of emotional intelligence into several different competencies, and it gets into complicated explanation of those. I'll spare you that. So what I'm going to focus on instead is uh, why emotional intelligence is important to me, why I like to teach it, why I like to talk about it, what motivated me to be a speaker in the field of emotional intelligence. First of all, what is emotional intelligence? Emotional intelligence is defined as the ability to think intelligently with our emotions. Emotions are important. They are everywhere. Okay? They are part of who we are and very often they do lead our actions. In emotional intelligence we like to say, this is the sequence. Thoughts, emotions, actions. People say, oh no, I feel this way. No, you don't. You think certain thoughts which elicit certain emotions, which then will lead to certain actions. And this makes a huge difference because when you embrace that kind of concept, we can control our emotions. More than controlling, we can use them better. We can lead them. We can make them serve us the way we want them to serve us. So, when I do life coaching, I often ask my clients, they tell me I feel this, I feel that, I ask them, tell me, what kind of thoughts are you entertaining during the day? And uh, when they start thinking about it, well, I think about this, here, let me give you an example. I often coach people in, for their career, the career coach. Many times they, they don't have a job, they're looking, they're struggling, you know, it's pretty hard out there. So, they're feeling down, hopeless, depressed. So I asked them, what kind of thoughts are you entertaining every day? Well, then they start going. There are no jobs, the economy is bad, all the jobs are going abroad, um, you know, too much competition, uh, this is just the way it is, I lost my confidence, I've been out of the job for a while. This okay, great. Keep talking to me. They keep talking and I say, how do you feel now? Well, really, really down. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Let's start changing the thoughts, changing the self-talk, and then let's see how we feel. And we go, we proceed in that direction. So, um, one of the most important competencies in emotional intelligence is emotional self-awareness. Everything starts with awareness. If we do not have awareness, we cannot do anything. So the point here is another example. Um, 
you know the classic interview question, right? Tell me about your strengths and tell me about your weaknesses. They always ask that question. And I tell my students, the reason why they ask you that, <coughs> sincerely, they don't care. They have enough of their own problems. <laughs> the reason why they are asking you that question is to see if you are aware of what your strengths are. Because if you're not aware of what your strengths are, you're useless to me. Right? How are you going to leverage your success? Okay, if you don't know what your strengths are. Weaknesses. If you're not aware of what your weaknesses are, you're going to make the same mistakes over and over again. Again, you're not useful to me. So emotional awareness, where I am, how I feel, so important. Beside the concept, the construct of emotional intelligence, I like to put there the fruit of my experience, what I, I have experienced especially and learned from the wisdom of the shaman I've been working with. And I'll tell you this, we are all wounded people. We carry the wounds of our nation, we carry the wounds of our uh, religion, we carry the wounds of our culture, we carry the wounds of our ancestors, we carry the wounds of our parents, we carry the wounds of our birth, we carry the wounds of growing up. And I'll tell you something else. Between birth and eight years old, I'll tell you our chakras, our energy centers, if you want you can just say our heart has no protection. And therefore that's where we get wounded the most. Pain is contagious. If we do not heal it, we transmit it. And we transmit it to the, to the people that are closest to us. That is the greatest motivation, not just to heal, but to extend ourselves, to understand, to change, to transform for our own benefit and the benefit of the people that we love. In a nutshell, that's emotional. safely say that we've had just a heck of a meeting tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, man, I'm impressed with everybody. Uh, good job, all. Uh, evaluators at the red